Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how to improve your backhand topspin using a technique where you don't need any partner. Just you require a table and a few balls to practice. Similar videos on how to improve your backhand punch or the forehand topspin you can uh, find on the top right cor corner. This video will greatly enhance your confidence on the backhand topspin. So without further much ado, let's get started. Simply the backhand topspin on rock is looks like this. You eye level again on the net, that's the start position. You ball drop, you top spin. Ball drop, top spin. Ball drop, top spin. I'm always trying to clear the net at the clear uh, and the net at the net height. Since the height of the ball, I'm always having the reference point of the net. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes higher, but it's always the reference point is then. Okay. Let's look at some slow motion clips. So I slowly release the ball and the wrist is contracted back and then it is released. We will see the technical breakdown on how to do the ball drop top spin in the next section of the video. Let's try to break it down step by step of how to execute it. Number one step again as mentioned in the backhand punch video, you drop the ball and you drop the ball relatively to the like to the neck height. Yeah, drop the ball and when you drop the ball, this the wrist it contracts inwards. It contracts inwards in an anti-clockwise direction, and your feet, your feet is aligning itself to provide space for the execution of the stroke. So if I drop my right leg automatically it goes a little bit behind me. You see? It is creating space for the execution of the stroke. It's creating space for the wrist to move inwards. So that's why the right leg and also the left, both of them are going a little bit behind. Right? So if I drop the ball and down. If I drop the ball and you'll fall. If the ball is up here, my legs will automatically move forward. But there is a fine balance between fine balance on where the legs move. This will automatically come when you practice often. You will find that equilibrium point of the position of the feet. But mostly it takes care or the factors that is taken into account is your legs moving down, your legs, sorry, your legs moving uh, backwards to create space and, and your body rotating in an anti direction. Your body is completely from the hips, you know, the waist as well as your wrist. Entire body is in anti direction. Okay, so let's look at it again. You ball drop, your feet are, both feet are going back to create your space, your body has rotated and then you execute. Then you execute the backhand top spin. The backhand top spin is a brushing stroke. Okay, you just brush. When I say brushing, it means you are not punching. There is no force like this. Instead, there is a force tangential to the ball. When I say tangential, it is if you draw a line, it will pass through 
the outside one of the points of the circle. Right? So it's a tangential. You are not going through the ball, but instead outside the ball, brushing and at the point of contact. At the point of contact, you generate an acceleration. The acceleration is creation of the maximum velocity at that point. Right? To say simply, you locate a point where you want to execute and at that point execute a force, execute the maximum force. That's the acceleration at that point. The so ball of top spin coming to that, coming to the topic, do you ball rock and top spin? Ball rock, 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 ball Sometimes your body also can rotate if you want to generate a more amount of power. But here it does not require. It's a, it's a example, or this example is for beginners if we want to improve. Right? Because it's just the one on one exercise of improving your action top spin. So, ball drop, ball drop, locate where you want to execute the stroke. Maybe on the left, right, or center, and then ball drop and you ball drop, rotate inwards and rotate inwards and then extend the extend the wrist and also the forearm will automatically extend, and the energy is then transferred to the ball. Let's now look at the summary. In this slow motion the first coaching point is create space for the wrist and once that is done rotate your body in anti-clockwise direction and the third coaching point is at the moment of contact brushing stroke apply the brushing stroke so create space rotate wrist body in anti-clockwise and create a brushing stroke one important coaching point I will talk in the next section now. The last coaching point that I wanted to talk about is not technical. It is related to how you breathe during a table tennis game. Uh, simply put in when you so when you toss the ball, inhale and when the racket makes contact with the ball then you exhale similarly in receive also when the ball makes the contact on the opponent's racket while you are receiving is when you inhale and when the ball comes to you and when you make the contact on the ball then you exhale this is in short that I am explaining this coaching point. I plan to make a detailed video on it, but I wanted to share this knowledge with you in this video itself. I hope uh, you learned something from this uh, ball drop backhand top spin video. Doing this technique by yourself will greatly improve your confidence. You don't have to depend on any partner. For enhancing your backhand top spin technique and try it out yourself you will figure out technicalities that I have not explained in this videos because for things that can work for you you have to take out time and uh, try to find out unique things that will work for you these are the guiding principles that I have given in this video and uh, just use them to find your unique path so I'll end this video now and I will see you in the next one. If you like this one, just please give me a like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.